welcome to our final project for the EGR 120 honors class. Um, this is the honors component where we make an emulate and we designed every child's worst nightmare. I mean, a teddy bear. And I say worst nightmare is because it looks like this. And um, that's a little scary. If you're an engineering student who likes to wait till the last minute to do things, don't worry. The timestamp where the video actually starts is in the description box below. Thank me later. For the rest of you who started on time, so like nobody, uh, here is a one Katia meme that I made just so you can like mentally prepare yourself for starting this program. Okay, now that we're done with memes, we should probably actually get started. So let's get on with the video. Welcome everyone to this tutorial. Today we will be looking at the Imagine and Shape uh, module under Katia, and that is under Shape and Imagine and Shape. We will be demonstrating how to use this this workbench by making a teddy bear. So the first step you want to do is find this button right there, which looks like a square. It's under a sphere button and you want to change it to, click it once to change it to a multi-section that looks kind of like a circle. The next step you want to do is create a sphere. So just click on the sphere and you'll have a sphere. Now, what you want to do is just ro use this view icon over here. You might have to drag out a few toolbars to see it, but it looks like an eye. I can do that to check, for example, the front view here. Now, it might help actually to rotate it just a little bit just to make sure you're not selecting the back view lines. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Now, you want to use face subdivision, which is this icon up here that looks like a sphere with a square in front of it. And you want to click that and select the front two faces. You have the reason I told you to rotate the sphere a little bit is so you make sure you're selecting the faces with the solid lines and not the broken lines, which if I go back to my front view here, I would not be able to tell the difference which one is which. Therefore, I rotate a little bit just to understand that I'm selecting the front of the sphere. So I press one, I press control and press the other. Now, what that does, it divides the face into four, each face into four different components. And you can change the ratio you want here. We can put it for this, we can put it down to point, point 0.6 is a good place for this. Now, what we can do is click off of it. This is going to be very important. You're going to have to click off of the tool once you're finished using. If not, it will just keep doing it. So. And after every time you should press enter, which I didn't do, but if you click off it, it will prompt and just click yes. Now what you can do is well, double click first to get back into this kind of shape, because if you press escape twice, you'll just go down to this. So now that you have that, you can kind of extrude. You can go If you go back here and select using control, obviously, all these faces at the same time press extrude actually don't select those faces until you select extrude so you can extrude this that just all these all the faces created from the face subdivision you can extrude them so there you have that and now just hit enter or if you hit the check mark that also works so now that you have that, you see how it just appeared just a little bit. This is the side view now. All right. Now what we're going to do is create the eyes. So for that, we're going to go into back into this area and back into face subdivision and click the these top front two. One and this one is self select and control on the other one. Just hit the check mark first. And then click the other one and the check mark. Now, actually, uh, 
let me redo that uh, I forgot you have to put this ratio down to around 0.2 that's going to be our pupils so that check mark or enter enter key whichever one you want this one just happens to be there so I'll just do that so now you have that exit the sketch first else you won't it will just keep doing it so now that you have that what you can do is you might as well might as well as we can do go ahead and color this in so we're going to go under part body subdivision surface we can go into properties here there and change the color to let's say brown okay there's brown now the pupils are going to be select both of them to be able to select both of them and click properties you're gonna you cannot be in this screen you cannot select both of them here that's not gonna work you see there's no properties here so you're gonna have to exit with the escape key and then just select those two surfaces properties and we can make it black and then around each one we can make those white sorry let's try that again I'm gonna select only those right click properties and white there we go and if we want to we can actually go ahead and select these here and actually turn them into a lighter brown I'm gonna use that color you can choose any color you want you don't have to use these now that we have these this we can go ahead and try to make the ears so we go back into this kind of weird aura shape and where do we want to make the ears well I'm gonna go ahead and subdivide this face actually up here kind of the top back right and then click enter and then do the same for the one right next to it and click okay and now with these what I can do is using actually I, I extruded that sorry I didn't subdivide the face I just extruded that so click off of that and then we can actually use if we go back into here this is the manipulation toolbar and this is what you're gonna use to change stuff up a lot also so we can go into translation right now we're already selected there and make sure your face selection is on not the point or vertex although you can change it so now that we have for example I'm gonna select this face now we can move it in all three directions so we can go up we can go to the side we can go backwards if we want which wouldn't make much sense in this case but we can do that with that shape actually let's bring it up just a little bit more now we can also select this face for example and drag it a little bit same with this face now we can do the same to this other ear it up a little bit move this one out a little bit and move this one in a little bit there we go kind of got a little teddy bear and if we want we can actually bring this out just down a little bit out same on this side bring it down a little bit and out. kind of like that doesn't have to be perfect this is a very um, unexact form of Katia compared to part design for example okay now that we have that it's almost time to basically actually we can move on to making the nose so to make the nose what we have to do is exit that and we create another sphere now this sphere is obviously way too big so we can go into the it's called the affinity toolbar select that and then using the axis here we can shrink this sphere so say the x direction I'm shrinking about that z direction there y direction there now to translate it go back to translation make sure you have the entire thing selected and that will just translate the entire sphere if you only have a face selected it will modify the sphere instead
and just shape the sphere however you want to. It's not anything exact, you just shape it about that. It's good. And we can make this sphere and this surface we can actually make black. All right, now that we have that, it's time to move on to the body. So for the body, we're gonna actually change this. We're gonna change back to square, and now we're gonna hit sphere again. Now we're gonna, we should probably move, we're back. See what I said about clicking off translations. You have to click off each one and go back to its original one that you want, because if not, it will just do remember your last choice and stay there so just shape this however you want to and move it around now what we're going to do with this body to create the arms and legs is actually use this cutting tool here no. uh, actually it's not there it's up here, this face cutting tool. Let's click that. We're going to select this back right edge right here. This is going to create sections, and you're going to turn that down to three. Uh, four, three is good. What this is going to do is allow you to select individual surfaces to make the arms, for example. Now, just in preparation, I'm just gonna, now that I'm already at this tool, I'm going to do the same thing for the legs. So I'm just going to select there. Actually, I have to hit enter before anything so it saves. Then we can do the bottom back edge. And we can use that. Or we can use the side edge. I mean, what's it? whichever you prefer to use. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the back edge so I can separate into two legs. And now I'm just going to hit OK. And there we go. Click off the tool. Now, f for the arms, actually, we have to take this shape. Now, it's turned a lot more square. So we're going to have to click on it, uh, move it down a little bit. Actually, you have to make sure you have the correct faces loud. And to select the entire shape, instead of selecting each face, you can just click this one right here, all elements. And then that just selects the entire thing. Here we can, And then we can also use this. Actually, something I forgot to do is if you go back into the first into the first surface. We have to go into the pupils here and click the attraction tool. What this does is gonna make the surface a lot more circular. So there we go. Click OK and do the same for the other one. OK. Yep. Exit. Now I can just go back into this one. And we could actually probably do the same, which is not actually gonna not gonna actually do much. So we can use the affinity tool, or kind of shape this however we want to shape it. All right. So now that we have this, we can go ahead to create the arms. So for that, I'm going to select that surface. See, I'm still in that toolbar. So I'm going to extrude this front surface here. You have to be careful. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Click OK after each one. And now from here, we can 
either do it again, but instead of doing it again, I'm going to click no. I'm going to use my translation tool over here to actually stretch that out. Just move it down. Uh, I'll just leave it there. And we can do the same on the other side. So, he's going to be T-posing now. Sorry for ev to everyone. And now for the legs, we're going to do something very similar. I'm just going to select these bottom left two faces. Careful, because I just selected that one by mistake. You have to make sure you're selecting the correct surfaces. that click enter I'm holding control to select both surfaces because if you do one at a time it's gonna look different so they're not gonna be joined now I can go ahead and select them again oh no never mind I have to exit out of the tool first. So I can select those two and now they're already selected for me. I can just drag it down and move it. Same with these two. And it's up to you how you want to do this as always. So now what I'm going to do is, for this surface, actually I have to exit out of here. This surface I'm going to color also brown. And I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try to actually make this round yep that works so just gonna do all these these four here so put them up all to a hundred and exit and then I'm going to select these four faces and make it light brown now finally uh, well finally we still have a few steps left we still have to make the hands which what we could do actually is instead of creating uh, a sphere for each finger we can probably just come in here cut this plane up doing that not that bad I mean that works kind of makes it more square but it's just a tutorial Click OK Face cut. And I can just select this surface and extrude this surface. Okay, extrude it again if you want. And I can do the same for, let's see, for each one. Now that we have that, I can go back into this affinity tool. I see now the yeah the affinity tool to select each face here. 
if I can. This one. I'll change it to. I mean, you can select multiple faces at once, too. But I mean, for now, that is probably good. I just exit that. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna create the spheres. So it actually looks fairly decent. So for the hands, I'm just gonna create a new sphere. Affinity, flatten it down, and all dimensions. So it kind of looks like a finger. And then we can move it up. It's good to get an idea where the shape intersects so you actually have a reference in space as to where the finger is. And once you have that, you can then decide the shape and the angle. You can use this tool here for rotation, which we're going to use to rotate the finger out. And then move it. Keep in mind when you use the rotation tool, the axis in which you rotate it in will change. So it is important to keep that in mind. So, yes. And, uh, so what I did when I was trying this out was to copy this and paste it. So we can just copy and paste. So now it'll create a different surface. So now if we go and edit that one, make sure you have the whole thing selected can you can kind of move it here and then rotate it. See how this whole thing is kind of messed up it's a parallelogram now that is because i rotated the object and now the axes aren't going to be in line with the origin so that's a short way to do it but it's going to cause you more problems than it's worth so what i'm going to do is delete that one and i'm just going to repeat the process i did for the first one five more times
So now that we have the fingers done, we can go ahead and repeat the same process for the feet, but instead of doing fingers, I'm just going to do like a foot for each. So that's going to involve And just to make life easy for this one, I will go ahead and copy and paste this one. Then go ahead, accept all edit, and just translate it. Make sure you're in the correct one, actually. And make sure your rotations are correct because in this case they are not, so just rotate it to face the front. And for that we can just go to top view. That's going to help us rotate. Go ahead and select all the fingers and color those whatever color you like. I'm just going to choose orangey color. Well, actually, just to go with the theme of the teddy bear, I can just go ahead do a light brown. Same with the feet. Now finally we can put a tail on this and to do that we're just going to create yet, yet another sphere and again using the toolbar I'll flatten it out and make what you could call a tail. We can go ahead and color that in also. And there you go. You have successfully made some kind of recreation of what was supposed to be a teddy bear, but it's just something you can decide what it is now so congratulations if you're on a time crunch just go ahead and submit it there's nothing important here but thank you for watching our video hopefully you were able to do it right um if at any point in the video you did not and you're just skipping to the end to see if there's any like katia shortcuts here i'm sorry but uh no there's not um try going back to the video and like following the cursor exactly um well, anyways, uh, have a great day uh, and good luck with future Katia.